Good morning, friends, and welcome back. I'm going to do a video that's a little bit different today. I used a stained glass pattern that I found online for free for this butterfly, and I used triple thick and glitter and some Americana dimensional writer. I'll show it to you later in the video. So even though I'm going to walk you through the steps on how to do this, and it's really quite simple, it just takes some drying time, I'm going to chat a little with you about things that are going on and then ask for your opinion. So feel free to comment down below. It has nothing to do with my channel as much as like a major life decision that some of you may have gone through. So I'd like to ask you, what you're thinking or what your thoughts are on this. First of all, I got this off of the internet. I just looked up simple stained glass patterns. I love the butterfly. And then I got this frame at Hobby Lobby. It was $10 and 50% off. And here's what I did. I took the glass out of the frame and I made sure to tape this to the piece of cardboard backing that came with the frame and then put it back in the frame because I wanted to make sure it didn't move around. I then took some alcohol and I cleaned the glass off. Now, this dimensional writer that I used, it's not really easy to find. So you can either go on YouTube and find videos for how to make this yourself, or you can also buy the faux stained glass writers. They work beautifully too. And just outline the butterfly. I'm using a butterfly. So outline your project, whatever you'd like to use. And don't forget, there's all types of flowers and sea images and shells and lighthouses. Just try to keep it simple for your first project because this lining part is probably the most challenging aspect and you don't really want to lay the writer down on the glass. You want to keep it lifted a little bit and kind of let this um, move along smoothly. By the way, take a little piece of paper and just make sure you get that first line out so that it doesn't splatter on your glass. And just go all around the lines and I will let you know I am looking through the camera lens as I'm doing this and my vision is very limited so I decided to do the rest of this off camera and I felt like the line was a little too thin for me so I also put a bamboo skewer in the top and widened that hole a little bit and when it was done here's how it looks and I'm going to leave it to dry one other thing that I did I wanted to make sure that that whole outside space wasn't just left open so just like a stained glass window I put a line here and here and then two up at the top so that I'd have a little bit more of a stained glass look. Now you it. may want to try this also. This is an old bottle that I just made a whole lot of squares on, just a little bit of a pattern, because I wanted to experiment with all of these different glitters, the colors. I also wanted to see what the best way was to put this on. So I tried using a bamboo skewer, that was a little too much. I also tried pouring it on. Again, that didn't work too well. I had also thinned out the triple thick a little bit too much. I'll go into that in a moment. I also tried metallic paint. I tried something called the silk paint. I tried a few different paints. And really, the most beautiful thing was the glitter. Believe it or not, that dimensional paint dries pretty quickly. I mean, within a few hours, it was all dry. So here's another thing I did, and don't be too overwhelmed. I have all of these colors. I made two copies. This one's a bit larger. I made two copies of my image because I wanted to mark down which colors I wanted to go where. Now I have a surplus of glitter and I just wanted to get rid of them. So I had like 14 different colors and I knew I needed 14 different cups. So this is going to be quite colorful and vibrant. You may want to stick to three or four colors. And I made sure I wrote down which color went in which section. I also had to make a guess as to how much I needed. Like this area, I knew I was going to need more triple thick and glitter than I would in, say, a tinier area. And up here, I'd also need a lot more glitter than I would in a much smaller area. 
Now I had my supplies set up beforehand, all of the colors, the glitter, and the triple thick, and these little tiny cups, and something to stir the glitter with. So I poured the glitter into the cup, and then I took the triple thick, and I added it, and you want to kind of do this slowly. This color is going to go in a smaller area so what I did was I kind of dripped or poured a little bit of triple thick in to start and I'm talking like maybe a teaspoon you may want to keep some little project on hand with Easter coming up let's say you have some Easter eggs that need some color you may want to keep those on the side in case you have extra glitter and you can pour the triple thick and the glitter on those and I stirred it up and this is what I did with all of the rest of the cups and the glitter. I think it's pretty much impossible to measure exactly how much you need, but uh, it's probably better to have a little too much than not enough. So going by my guide here, I decided to start to fill in all of these colors with my glitter that I already have pre-mixed and ready to go. I would say I almost used about three quarters the amount of glitter to the one amount of triple thick. So if I had used a teaspoon of triple thick, I would use three quarters of a teaspoon of the glitter and stir it all together. Excuse me guys, I just came in from walking the dogs and because it's springtime here and there's a lot of allergens out in the air, you might start to hear that a little bit in my voice. But what I'm doing here, as you can see, is I am just tapping this mixture into the center of this well that I made using that raised paint and this is actually a different color that I'm going to put in the other area and I'm looking back to the paper that I have these different colors written on so I know where to put everything. So you can continue to watch the video here. I'm just going to continue to do this with different colors and this is where I wanted to ask for your advice. However, if you just want to skip over my asking you questions unrelated to the video, then I will put the timestamp right in the video so you can see where to fast forward so you can get right back on with the instructions uh, once you're done painting the triple thick and glitter onto your glass surface. So those of you that have been with me for a while know that we were planning on moving last year. We were looking to move closer to the ocean. My father's actually out there. And I'm sure everyone goes through this. It is such a huge decision to make. It's not that we have to move and it is not that we don't love this area where we live. The house is larger of a home than we need. First of all, we're only getting older. We've got the upstairs, we've got the main floor, and then we've got the basement, which is where all of the laundry is. And sure, I'm fine now, we're both fine now, but I told my husband, I don't think in my 70s or 80s I'm going to want to be going up and down stairs and carrying baskets of laundry. And there's also the fact that as you get older, you like to make things a bit easier on yourself. So rather than cleaning, you know, all of these different rooms, and we certainly can't afford to hire somebody to do that. Plus, I'm home just working on my videos. Uh, it's just It just doesn't seem practical at all. So look, here's the bottom line. If you have any words of advice or wisdom or ways that you can tell me this helped you make the decision or this helped you get through it, please feel free to let me know down below. Uh, a lot of you are kind enough to make comments every week, pop in, tell me how you're feeling, and I'm just very curious what you guys uh, have done, what has helped you, and, and I will maybe have a little bit more information or just read something that says, that's a great idea, let me try that. So, now we can get back to the video. Thank you for indulging me in that. I will finish this up and I'll let it dry. I think before it dries, I'll show you an image of how it looks wet. And then, of course, when it's all dry, which would be the following morning, I'll show you how it looks. And, of course, you want to hang this in a sunny spot.
a little careful in this one spot right here I didn't push the triple thick and glitter out enough to the edges so there was a little bit of a line where you could see through the glass that's a simple fix uh, or you can leave it because it's really not that noticeable the other thing I did was so I had this very deep fuchsia color left over and I had some of the light pink left over and I just decided to blend it a little bit and it added even a little bit more interest so now our whole piece is done it's wet right now it looks very pretty and I just went around the edges with you can take a toothpick or a bamboo skewer and just go around any of the edges where you see that in this green area you can see that I went over the line a little bit so I'm just cleaning it up then I'm going to leave this to sit overnight it's always like Christmas morning when I do a project like this that has to dry overnight because I can't wait to see how it looks in the morning so I'm tidying it up I'm going to put it aside for the night in a cat free zone on a very flat surface and you never want to heat triple thick because it will crack and bubble it doesn't look good at all so don't heat it just leave it to dry naturally on its own and here we are the following morning so I have some sunlight over here I will show it to you in the sunlight but this is how it looks dried I'm so excited with the way this came out really loving the whole project and it is a typical March day it is so windy out that you can see the branches are kind of blowing all over the place but you can still get an idea of how beautiful this is I took the backing out of it so you can see it's quite sheer I still don't think the glitter is coming out as beautifully in the camera as it is in person Person. this is the back of it you can see the glitter through the back as easily as you can through the front the front just tends to be more three-dimensional which is something else I liked and I was going for all right friends thank you so much for subscribing don't you hear that ad nauseum thank you for liking commenting etc don't forget about my ebook on Amazon I will have the links down below and by the way guys Thank you so much in advance for helping me out with my huge decision. I can't wait to see your comments. And I'm going to be going back and forth with the frequency of my videos. I'll try to get at least a couple out a month. Please make sure you're on my Facebook page, Upcycle with Decoupage, because then I'll keep you posted on things that you don't see on YouTube. Okay, my friends, thank you so much. Chat with you soon. Bye-bye.